This is the story about how becoming a mom changes you as a woman. When I look into my child's face, their first love, their embrace, I forget myself and I'm floating in space. Secretly wish your husband stayed home and you went to work? What's clear here is that dad has way too much time on his hands. Think a dad could do just as good of a job as a mom? How does it affect men when they are the ones in charge of the kids? They never will have the maternal instinct that we do. I could be a stay-at-home dad in a second. Not in a million years. I just think he would go insane. Well, it took me about 30 days with a newborn to get my confidence and get a routine. And after that, it was the best job in the world and I wouldn't change it for anything. Today, we're talking to stay-at-home dads, Greg Maxwell and Andrew Brown, as we discuss the question, what is it like being a stay-at-home dad? How did you and your wife decide for you to be the sort of the primary caretaker? Well, it was at a point where her income was greater than mine. So um, I was more in a position to take that Go sacrifice. Go mommy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Staying at home was a big decision, and then doing that, and then you kind of miss out on being in the game of actually being an adult. It was hard. I mean, because I worked forever, and then when I would go to, like, a dinner party with my husband, and, you know, people do the, what do you do, what do you do? I would just say I'm a plus one. People would ask <laughs> oh, me, they go, so what do you do? I go, I'm, I'm a plus one. Just <laughs> my wife said you want to talk to. I'm yeah. a plus one. I think the way moms and dads parent are so different. Like, I think moms are just more cautious and we're like worried our kids are gonna get hurt. I would see like the dads, the dads just, I think empower the kids a lot more. As a dad, I mean, I wanted my kids to, you know, push the envelope. There was one little incident that happened. When the kid throws a fit and just drops to the ground, you can actually dislocate the elbow. You dislocated Meredith's elbow. I dislocated my <laughs> daughter's elbow, yes, it was Pushing awful. that envelope? How did, Linda know, they, feel, how did Linda feel about that? Well, how did that go over? I got the stare. When your wife comes home from work, is she like expecting for like the house to be clean and for dinner to be on the table? Several times I've done this work. I'll be putting the kids down, I'll make a, a really nice dinner and then I came in and she ate her whole meal without me and even though my meal was on the other side she said oh that's bad she goes oh we're gonna have dinner together I was like you know well we were going to oh that's oh my god so it's the same thing that happens to us I mean same exact deal well yeah but you know Michelle would she would basically set out like a week's menu and want this, you know, prepared, whatever, certain meal wow. prepared. Wow. Well, I mean, it was basic <laughs> stuff. Sometimes my husband would come home and, you know, he would start complaining about things. Well, it's the micromanaging. My wife would say a lot of times that, well, this is very common behavior or, you know, the way you should have handled it was this way. Oh, that literally oh, to me, the, that. That, like, yeah. that literally makes the hair on the back of my neck go up. I'm like, that. And yeah. then I'm like, well, is that what the book says? Because the book's not here, and the book's not real. And there is no book, yeah. by the way. No one would be crying as she walks through the <laughs> oh, door. Oh, right, of course. And, and, going and, that way, right? It just Everything shoots the whole I know, I know and you're like, no, it really wasn't like this before you were here. Everything was calm, and they exactly. come in, and it's like, ah. My husband and I are 50-50 on the chores. So he's in charge of the kitchen, and then I do the windows and everything else that comes with it, um, laundry and all that kind of stuff. Do you divide up? I'm pretty much the house manager. You know? And then what about the cooking? My I, husband takes care of the cooking. I love cooking. It's something that I prefer to do. Do you just do like frozen dinners or are you doing healthy meals? I take the time with it and so I try to make it as healthy as possible with a lot of greens and you make sure the kids eat right. Way better than what I ever ate. So really right. like fresh and healthy foods. Do you guys want some salad dressing on it? Yeah. yeah. Which one do you want? Okay. Well, I remember the first time because our kids go to school together and I get this call kind of asking you on a date, but it was a play date, you know, and he's like, hi, this is Maxwell. I found that being a dad, you had to, you had to really put yourself in and try to get into the conversations and into the groups because nobody was really asking you to. Yeah. And, and my wife often told me, she goes, no matter what you do, you can't be in a, what these women want to be with women. Well, it's the same, you know, women are kind of the outsiders on the corporate world. And it's exactly, like, exactly. you guys are like in the 1950s, you know, we corporate have world, reversal, role both reversal. Ways. Yes. Absolutely. And it's both ways. So when she does come home, she'll want to cuddle with me. And I, I don't want to be touched. Because oh, that, I, oh, my God, that's <laughs> great. I love that because I'm the same way. And like... Next time you see that dad at carpool or at the park, you may want to schedule a play date or strike up a conversation. 
It seems it doesn't matter which parent stays home. We all need the same support system to make parenting life a little easier. Remember, we're all in this together. We want to know what's going on in your mom life. So come visit our community at jenandbarb.com. This episode is brought to you by Windex and Kraft Salad Dressing. Well, any women hitting on you? Yes. Yes? <laughs> I'm trying Ooh. to think how to say it without. One time I actually had one that was saying, do you have my number? And I pulled my cell phone out to put her number in, and she actually wrote it on my hand. Oh. And of course, I ran to the car, and I called my wife, and I go, I just got to hit on. <laughs> She was like, oh my God, by who? And I told her, she goes, oh, she's cute. <laughs> <laughs>